Hi, I'm Vivian from V Digital Creative and thank you for watching. I operate my business V Digital Creative on the side, but I also work part time at Channel 44 as their digital production and marketing manager. Lay down in front of me, you can see some of the things that I have to talk about today, um, which is going to be 360, filmmaking, and also what you would know as VR. So let's get started. First of all, why would you want to be getting into this? Um, it's a new technology, well not new, but it's been around for a couple of years now, um, but may not be as well known. Um, so people mostly recognize this as you know VR gaming, um, but there's also tons of things you can also do as well. Um, you can watch a lot of short films, you can watch some animations, you can you know, do meditation, um, you can travel the world, uh, there's of course gaming, um, but there's just so much to do. And also for everyday people, this is a great way to create little memories on home videos. So we'll start off with this. This is my Insta360 Evo. It's a consumer style 360 camera which gives the user the ability to record everything around so you can see there's two lens so that films every angle um, and you'll be able to um, stitch it together and edit um, and watch it back with a head mounted display which I'll go into a little bit later. Um, the good thing about this is that even though it's small it's actually really effective um, it has an inbuilt stabilizer so if you put it on a selfie stick this is great to you know walk around and record what's happening and you'll be able to see everything that happens around you um, which is great the um, equipment this one and this one both come with an app um, which allows you to also preview your content to make any edits um, and also it just you know allows you to edit with their program as well which is very you know user friendly so don't feel this is something that you can't do it's not as intimidating there's plenty of YouTube videos out there to get you started okay I'll move on to this now so this is my professional camera it has six lens which allows you to record every angle in 360 and then you would have to use the software to stitch them all together to create a file for you to edit with. I use Premiere Pro to do my editing, which enables the VR capabilities. Um, but I guess there's you know plenty to talk about, but I won't have time to do that today. Um, for people who want to do this properly, I would also recommend getting an ambisonic audio device. This thing here is my H3 VR Zoom. Um, so it's not just your normal audio recorder, it records ambisonic sound, which means you can hear audio in 360. So if someone walks into my left, I hear footsteps and I'll look at that direction or someone shouting, I turn to my right. So you basically get that experience, but in 360, which is you know very important when it comes to filmmaking is the sound. So you don't have to go to that extent. Um, something like this is perfectly fine. The next thing I would recommend you do if you haven't done so already, is to experience 360 content or virtual reality using a HMD, a head mounted display. This is my Oculus Quest, um, and this is great you know, for gaming as well as watching content. So you wear this, this doesn't have any wires, this is why I love it, whereas the HTC Vive Generation 1 had. Um, and it comes with a controller, so you can also do all your gaming and everything on there. Um, so I'd recommend as a first step, is to go into a VR arcade and play some games, go for some experiences. You can do painting, you can travel the world, you can um, watch some short films. Um, there's so much you can really do. And I guess when you start exploring, you see the potential out there and it's just really exciting. Um, a little backstory, a few years ago, um, we got married overseas in Croatia, in Dubrovnik. Um, and we had this beautiful fortress in the background, which is where they had filmed Game of Thrones. And I watched it back because um, I filmed it on my 360 camera with um, a head mounted display. And it literally felt like I was stepping back in that period of time because it just felt so real. Um, putting it on, I was able to hear the waves crashing behind me, everyone's reaction as I walked down the aisle. Um, and it was just a nice little moment to relive, um, which, you don't, which you don't really experience by just watching your normal, I guess, traditional video. So this just gives you the ability to capture a moment in time and almost be like a fly in the wall in that experience. So create memories of something like this is a fun way to get started. And it's not really hard to do. You just need the camera and you just go out and have fun. So that's just a little introduction into 360 video and virtual reality. 
Um, you can follow me at V Digital Creative on Facebook and see some of the content that I've created there. Um, feel free to send me a message if you have any questions. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later.